prefatory note of the extermination of the american bison this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by abai in october 2014 the extermination of the american bison by william t hornaday superintendent of the national zoological park prefatory note it is hoped that the following historical account of the discovery partial utilization and almost complete extermination of the great american bison may serve to cause the public to fully realize the folly of allowing all our most valuable and interesting american mammals to be wantonly destroyed in the same manner the wild buffalo is practically gone forever and in a few more years when the whitened bones of the last bleaching skeleton shall have been picked up and shipped east for commercial uses nothing will remain of him save his old well-worn trails along the watercourses a few museum specimens and regret for his fate if his untimely end fails even to point a moral that shall benefit the surviving species of mammals which are now being slaughtered in like manner it will be sad indeed although bison americanus is a true bison according to scientific classification and not a buffalo the fact that more than sixty millions of people in this country unite in calling him a buffalo and know him by no other name renders it quite unnecessary for me to apologize for following in part a harmless custom which has now become so universal that all the naturalists in the world could not change it if they would William T. Hornaday End of Prefatory Note